Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Miami Dade Police Department's Week in Review. Let's go! On Wednesday, Director Perez and members of our command staff met with State INL Deputy Assistant Secretary Walsh to discuss international trainings held at the MDPD and the impact of the opioid crisis in our county. The INL works to keep Americans safe at home by countering international crime, illegal drugs, and instability abroad. These efforts reduce the amount of crime and illegal drugs reaching U.S. shores. Director Press stated that our department supports the state INL by training police from the international community, making them more effective and efficient. As they become better crime fighters abroad, less drugs will impact South Florida and our communities. Next Thursday marks two months since two-year-old Cornell Williams Thomas was killed following a drive-by shooting outside his home in the area of Southwest 214th Street and 114th Court. On Friday, Director Perez, along with members of the MDPD, joined Commissioner Dennis Moss and residents in the community in a prayer vigil and in another appeal to the community for information to help identify and apprehend the people responsible for his murder. Anyone with information about his killing is urged to contact Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. Fifth graders from various schools across Miami-Dade County graduated from the Drug Abuse Resistance Education Program, also known as DARE, with special ceremonies honoring their achievements. Students participated in the nine-week program that not only teaches them the dangers of alcohol, drugs, and tobacco use, but also ways to deal with the variety of situations they face at school and in everyday life, such as bullying and peer pressure. We are proud that these students have pledged to lead lives free from violence, substance abuse, and other dangerous behaviors. Congratulations. The Miami-Dade Police Department is recognizing Hit and Run Awareness Month this February and reminding all motorists to stay at the scene when involved in a crash. In partnership with the Florida Highway Patrol, the initiative seeks to reduce the number of hit and run crashes in Florida and encourage individuals to anonymously report information to solve hit and run investigations. Be sure to follow our social media channels for the latest and up-to-date information happening in our department. Thanks for watching and see you next week.